Mr. Atkins, let's pick up the conversation about health care. And you said the health exchange, you think that's going to go a long way to helping a lot of Kentuckians who can't afford health insurance. Again, can Kentucky long term, you think Kentucky will be able to afford that? I, I think they'll have to because if they don't do it now, later on the cost is just going to explode. It's getting worse every year. Uh, as I said before, 20% GDP, it is increasing. There's no handle on it at all. And this is a way to get a handle on it, push it down, keep it down for the long term and preserve medical care for all those people that need it. And last time you were on and was, we were talking about health care, you said you would prefer some kind of universal health care system. Uh, does that include a, a single payer? Would you like to see a single payer system that where the government essentially is kind of the quarterback of, of matching up people with insurance? That's exactly what I would prefer because that is a method whereby we would keep prices down. Medicare has that aspect of it that they, they negotiate from a position of strength. If you had single payer, then the entire spectrum would be controlled from, from a position of strength and tamp down those prices because it is so very high. It's, it's, it's just, as I said before, it is unsustainable as it exists and there's no alternative proposed by the other side of the aisle. Well, there's a number of different models for single-payer system. Uh, Canada has one, the United Kingdom has other, there's, there's a couple other European countries that uh, actually most industrialized nations have some kind of a single-payer. Is there one nation system that you think that, that the, universe, that the uh, United States of America should model itself after? I, I would not say there is one. I think we, we have the opportunity to look at all of those and cherry-pick the best of them all. Uh, England, equal number of beds, doctors, Longer lifespan, less infant mortality, that's, that's, a, that's a, a good system. Canada, likely the same. And people are concerned about the wait for service. I understand that. But what that means is more people are interacting with their physician. I think that's a plus. And then some people are going to hear that and say, socialized medicine, uh, is that a bad thing? Uh, well, is it socialized medicine? I don't, I don't necessarily think so, but it's a solution. People have got to start, think outside the box. Don't label it. Come up with solutions. Okay. All right. One last thing I wanted to ask you about at the end of my interview with Thomas Massey. I asked him about debates and whether he would come back on the show with you uh, for a debate. Are you all going to have any at this point? Um, and, and would you come on this show with Thomas Massey? Well, I was going to say, first, I accept. <laughs> and two, uh, we have one scheduled on Kentucky Tonight, KET, October 22nd, 8 p.m. Now, we have repeatedly asked his campaign for appearances with him. Um, uh, and so far, either refused or no response. Uh, I was supposed to have one tomorrow night uh, in uh, Shelbyville at the Farm Bureau. He refused to do that, so they actually invited me last week to do it by myself at their, their dinner meeting, which I appeared. Uh, we were going to do one in Oldham County next Tuesday night, one that was being organized actually by the Republicans in that area, and he refused to do that. Um, and now I'm going to do a live town hall next Tuesday night at, uh, at one of their libraries, uh, it's on my website as to where, but it's a branch library. All right, so, so, so far, not a whole lot of joint appearances. What, what, is the, what do you think effect that has? What do you think the effect is that that has on voters? Well, I think it, it, it does not permit people to know who they're voting for. Uh, I, right now, uh, I'm campaigning across the, the district from Catlettsburg to Shelbyville in one day. It's a long drive. I know he is, too. He's doing a lot of hand-to-hand uh, uh, -hand campaigning, so to speak. People, people don't know us. I mean, people, I cannot tell you how many times people have asked me, who's your opponent? I really don't want to tell them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess that's the candidate's prerogative. When somebody asks you about the opponent, uh, you're supposed to say, I don't know. So, all right, very good. Well, Mr. Atkins, I appreciate you coming in, and we'll see if we can have both of you here on Pure Politics. Again, I accept. Thank all you. All right, thank you. All right.